Yes, it's again. I'm happy because I'm finally doing something today. Let me tell you, have you ever had one of these days where it's almost 1.30 and you haven't done anything yet? Well, wait, I did do something. First of all, I went out to my pond and I spent like an hour trying to make the timer work for the waterfall and the solar heat. One hour. No, I didn't fix it. I think the timer might be broken. So I brought the timer in. So I'm gonna mess with it for another hour in the house and see if I can figure out if it's the timer broke or the, I don't know. It's so frustrating. And my hair was in a bun uh, yesterday. So then I just took it out. And this is a difference of curls in a bun compared to curls with the curling iron. They're a little nicer. But today, well, by the time you see this, my great granddaughter might be born. So, but I'm filming this a day, whatever way you look at it. All right, I got this huge sack of Timu stuff and it's gonna be exciting. Now I hung my sign material mom on a little angle that way. Cause before, if I wanna show my table, then it's too high. And so I'm trying to, you know, balance it. Cause I like the table. I know some people just hold the stuff up, but I think it's more productive to have a table that you guys can look down on and see it opening. I'm trying to make it a little down lower. Okay, so then it will be better. Okay, I'm wearing my Timu baseball shirt. And of course, putting makeup on, the first thing I did was get a stain on it. And I know I like white shirts and they're supposed to be so practical because they match everything. They also stain everything. I'm a slob, I'm a slob. <clears throat> All right, I got this for $8.99. It is a hanging chair. Now, Jamie, from years ago, before he married me, has this iron, or it's real heavy. I don't know what kind of metal, but it's painted white and it has a green cushion and it's all metal kind of chair that you hang with one. He never has hung it since I married him. And he goes, oh yeah, I have one of those. Well, we have the deck with the big old lamb beams above, but he still has never hung it. And so I said, Jamie, I'm going to video you hanging this so we can see what it's really like. And I said, do I need to buy the screws and everything? And he said, no, nope. I'm sure I have some out there. Now I paid a little bit more to get the pillows to go in it because I already bought one like just this. I think I did. Oh, look, it comes in a little baggie, a little bag so you can like transport it to your campground or something. But I just want it out there under the deck. Okay, it has the good ropes. See, and then you just tie it. I wonder if it's gonna be for big fat people like me, big butts. I like big butts and so, um, let me see. Oh, look, see, it's like this. If you didn't order the pillows with it, then it's just like this. But if you order the pillows, you're supposed to put one in the back and one in the seat or two on the side. I want three. Anyway, so I am going to film it. I'm gonna have him do it. And then, you know, here's the secret. If I tell him that, I'm gonna record him doing it, then he'll do it. Or I'll tell him, here's the other trick. If that doesn't work, then I'll say, okay, I think I can do it. I'm gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna get a hammer and some nails and make the holes first. And then I'm gonna, and then he'll say, no, don't do it. I will do it. It seems like my camera's kind of cloudy and fuzzy. So, Take care, because I'm going to wash it. Is this the camera right here? Yes. Oh, I think that might be better. It is. Oh, 
But you know, those old time movie stars and they would have like a fog over the camera. That's what they did. They left it dirty so that it would look like they're all hazy. I swear that's true. <clears throat> <clears throat> I still have a little leftover <clears throat> frog in my throat. I'll edit that out. No, I won't. I did learn how to edit, but I still have a problem with editing. All right. These were only $1.67. And I got two of them because... That is cheap for these nice ones. And I got, did I get two different sizes? I think I did. A 43, 44 and a 41, 42, I did. But now I don't know what size that really is. I probably got a nine and a 10, maybe a 10 and 11, I don't know. So like when Grant comes over or somebody, that I know will wear them, I'm gonna give it to them. I can't remember why I bought two. For two men, I know. And Jamie, here's another thing. I hope he's not watching, because I'm tattling on him. He cannot walk in flip-flops. And Trevor and I, we just kind of chuckle because we had him one time walking in it, and he looked like he was a, had problems walking with it anyway. I don't want to call people names or anything, but he looked like he had a worse problem than he already does, not just old age, because he cannot walk in flip-flops. He kind of drags and slides his foot and drags and slides. So, um, oh, I can bet you can see it. Look over here. Yes. We didn't talk about it. I forgot to. I was going to. All right. This one, I have the home for this one, and I will be announcing the winner. That's next week's winner, because we already have this week's winner that I'm sad to say, embarrassed to say, I haven't mailed it yet, but I'm going to, hopefully this afternoon when I go to the post office. I was gonna mail it yesterday, and I went to the post office, and then I got there driving up, and I go, ah, oh, I forgot the package. Well, it's, I didn't have time to come back and go back because, you know, it takes 10 minutes to drive home and then drive to town again. I know people who live in a big city, that's really a fast time. But I didn't have enough time because I was, I was supposed to help Jamie plant in the garden and do all this work, but I didn't do it because I was doing, all right, I picked up my grandkids and brought them over so we could swim together and have fun. I wanted to have fun and play. And then I ran out of time to do the important things. But what's more important? Family, fun, or driving all around running errands? I chose the family. But then this is going to be, after that one goes away, then this one's going to be given away. It seems like more people want pink. And I finished the this one last night, or this morning. So I'm going to the next one, just do another pink. I have one person who wants a yellow one. And so I have her on my list too. So anyway, I have a light teal color too. That I'll, but I think next I'm just gonna do another pink one because that is the most popular color. Now, I know I'm probably silly because I bought, these are only $1.19. And you get, look, six bowls. And I bought them for me a lot, like last year. And I just loved them. Because for your strawberries, for anything, your rice, anything that you have to rinse. But then if you just want to use a bowl, you can. If you just want to use a strainer for pasta, you can. A dollar, 19. So... I got one for Hillary, Autumn, Emily, and I have one more. So, 15. I guess I could call this haul the cheapest prices I found on these items, or something like that. Now this, 
I bought them these last year and I told everybody about them and they all loved them that I told. But I want to mail them to maybe Kinsey in Arizona because I'm getting a little package ready to mail to her because I got to write her a letter because I've been neglecting that. The poor thing, and she's probably thinking, where's my grandma, she's not writing to me. And she's the only one who writes to me. I think I probably am because people don't write letters nowadays, they just email. So anyway, these are, anybody who's religious, you should order these. This is the steal of a lifetime. And Greg Olson is the painter. And he has painted these paintings. I think it's him. Let me read. I'll read and see. Oh, they put their label right over it. Well, I can't read that anyway. So anyway, if you know the uh, painter, you're lucky. But it's all of these beautiful paintings done. This one, talking to the little child. Love it. In the garden? No, that's not in the garden. Oh, this is when I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. They're all the scriptures of, and you could find, like, if you know somebody, maybe let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So you could find a card that fits, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. I like that scripture. He's there. He's waiting. Judge not that ye be not judged. Oh, I need to hang this one up for myself so that I will be reminded not to judge people. According to your faith, be it unto you. Oh, here's Jesus. <laughs> I've never seen this picture before. Jesus. You know somebody going camping? Here's Jesus with a campfire. You know he did, too. He had to have a fire to cook stuff. <laughs> I never saw that one before. All things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. If he says yes. Okay, ask and it shall be given. Unless you ask for something like, please, can I have a brand new Jeep in my garage? It's going to be no. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Sometimes his answer is wait. Be not afraid, only believe. Love one another as I have loved you, no matter what nationality, political view, or anything else. Love everyone. Okay. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. Because we should be thankful for him, for everything we have. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. That means your dreams can come true in your bucket list. Uh, peace be unto you as my Father hath sent me. I like that one. Ah, uh, that's the same. Your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all things. Oh. Uh, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. All right. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. And they give the, you know, the Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Did you know I heard that? But there is nobody in this world that wants you to succeed and be happy as Jesus. Forgive. And ye sh and you shall be forgiven. Oh, if you forgive others, then you will be forgiven too. That's kind of like judge not. I love this one. Pray always. When I asked my mother for advice, she'd always say, "Pray about. It. Seek and ye shall find. Seek ye the first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." I smell Jamie cooking down there. Anyway, I shouldn't read them all. The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, be he shall teach you all things. That's in John. And here's the baptism. You know, the, 
I always tell this, when people are having a hard time and you, you don't know what to say to them, right? I always say, I pray that the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, will be with you at this time because he is the Comforter. So you want to, I pray the Comforter will, we will comfort you. Be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. That's a cute one. Have faith in God. So anyway, I already have some of these. So I'll be giving these to someone else. Because $1.59. Have you seen these cards in places? And they are that much just, you know, almost that much for one. So I'll be giving these. Okay. Um, what else did I buy that was a really, really good buy? This is a real hammock. And I've seen them cheaper. I got it for $5.99. But I have seen them for cheaper. And I think I did buy one. I have one up there for $3.99. This one would be a gift to someone. Maybe Kyler. Because, you know, those boys. Teenage boys. All right. And this and I can't believe how this could sell for a dollar 19 and I already bought one for me and this will be a gift I'm not going to take it out but it has so many zippers and the side pouch for a water or your sunglasses and I think it's a perfect camera case if anybody has a camera or travel bag knitting bag you know anything like that diaper bag even because nowadays when i was young we had to take big old diaper bags because we had cloth diapers and all that stuff but nowadays they just have a pamper and you put your wet wipes in one of those little holders and stuff be a diaper bag it'll be a gift all right so that is all and so um stay tuned and be a new subscriber and you can enter to win one of these lovely <laughs> Are they clutter bugs? Clutter bug stuff? Tissue holders. Wait, do the, this one's open. I'll show you with the tissue app. Remember they used to have colored tissues? See? So, um, email me if you have, if you've already entered and you've already emailed me your address, I have it written down. And I have a tablet over here. So please don't bombard me with your name again because I will catch it and I won't put it down again. But if you have not entered and you want to enter to win one of these free, then put, put your name in as four, at four, I like, angebert405 at gmail.com. And then tell me your address and um, your the color you would prefer. If you don't care, then say, I don't care what color. But I would like to send you your favorite color. All right. I'll give you time to give a thumbs up and a subscribe. Check your subscri subscription to me. I think they must expire sometimes <laughs> because they're erased. And they un somebody unsubscribes. Maybe it's because it's expired. So... Check it. Subscribe again. And guess what I'm going to do this afternoon? I'm going to go float in my pool. And I like to go about 3 o'clock out there because the solar heaters warmed it. The sun is getting straight up. And it's going to be my first time. Alrighty. That will be it for today. Just a short Timu.